All right, let's take a live look outside now on a Monday afternoon. And Sean, it has been a gloomy start yeah. to the week, and you're telling us we've got some storms to watch. Yeah, out for the, too. right now the clouds working in our favor. Mm -hmm. We'll take that. We're you can tell we're north of the front. Uh, kind of cool, stable for now. It will get pumpy tonight. Okay. And then we've got a potentially more volatile setup uh, for rotating storms tomorrow. Mm. So uh, we're going to be watching the radar very closely here between now and the time this front can get through. And by the way, when that front comes through, you're going to know it come Wednesday. Oh boy, it's going to be a rude awakening here for a lot of us here. Uh, all right, let's set the stage. So we have the clouds as we talked about. Mm -hmm. Look at that snow flying across the northern tier. We may get some flakes of snow out of this bad boy here come Wednesday. We'll have more on that. Let's talk severe weather potential. All of central Indiana in play um, for thunderstorms. Some of these could be severe here. We talked about that front at the top of the show. And then uh, we're going to be kind of in the line of fire here along I-70 and 74 through the evening and overnight tonight. And that's why the flood watch has been issued because that within that zone, uh, pretty easy one to three by tomorrow morning and locally higher amounts on the table. So some flash flooding, we're not gonna rule it out. Some of those storms uh, overnight tonight and this evening could potentially rotate for practices or games, anything like that outdoors this evening. The storms will be isolated early, become more numerous the closer we get to sunset, which is after eight o'clock. This is the flash flood or the flood watch that's been issued here, uh, and that goes until tomorrow at 2 p.m. Not a whole lot on radar now. This is the zone of flooding concern right through the central part of the state here. 56 cloudy now. We've got lower 60s with the sun peeking out. The most probable area for severe wind is south and southwest, but any storm on radar here this evening could potentially rotate. Here's future track 13. Watch as we get closer to 8, 9 o'clock here, and we'll start to see these storms really increasing. It's going to be a bumpy night, going to be loud. We'll have you covered until this threat is over here. Now, tomorrow, I expect this to get pushed back farther north and west. Again, the storms on radar tomorrow afternoon won't be as numerous, but the air around us will be spinning more tomorrow, I believe. So these individual cells uh, could pose a problem until they move out, which is going to be around six o'clock here. I think most of the storm action is east of Victory Field tomorrow, which is important. We've got uh, opening day for the Indians here. I mentioned a rude awakening. Take a look here. Wednesday and Thursday, high temps only in the 40s, wind chills in the 20s. And then we're brightening up as we go into the weekend. And oh, looky there on Monday. Yeah, there's something going on around here. Uh, <laughs> we've got high clouds right now. We'll fine tune the cloud coverage uh, in the days ahead here for the great uh, solar eclipse.